Okay guys, so I decided not to do shining hunting. I mean, I did for a little bit, but I couldn't do it, so I'm just going to do it while I'm on vacation. And I'm going to go see where the new guy is. What's his name? I forgot. Um, here. Also, I saw that Basque Legion is in this. Like, so many cool Pokemon are in this. And I'm pretty sure that there's... Um, a new... What's it called? Ursaluna. Form, like, that's like Blood Moon Ursaluna or something. So it looks really cool, I want to use it on my team here. I arrived at my destination, but where exactly? Oh wait, also, I want to show you guys something that I saw um, this YouTuber do. Well, a couple of YouTubers. And that I've just seen around. Oh, can I not do all mine? Oh, they must have patched it. Yeah, they must have patched it. I can't walk through it. <laughs> What is that? Oh, that's a stick. Where is this thing? Oh, right here, probably. Yeah. That's the first signboard. S sorry, did I sorry you? I, I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're su supposed to read the signboard, right? Oh, I already know the whole story, so g go ahead. You should check it out. Um, wait a second, I'll be right back. You should check it out. These look like the legendaries. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. But some stroke of luck, by some stroke of luck, Ogi Dogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasant Dipti all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon lay down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. But don't think but don't you think the ogre and that folktale sounds kinda cool? Yeah. Right, I knew you'd get it, Jackson. It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. Wowzers, that's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little I went up into the mountains so many times at night, all on my own. And I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone, could you? That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. So, sorry, not trying to butter you up or anything. You know, I didn't want to have to come to come do this whole school trip thing. But, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Jackson. Hey, hey, oh, hey, if you want to, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
What what is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? A kaiju? This is Karidon. It's called Karidon, and you ride on it, huh? I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. Ah, uh, yeah. Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Jackson. You're, you're special. So the next... Er, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Um, Kitakami Hall is... We'll first double back to, to town from here, then there's this bridge you cross, and from there you'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this, and then I'll be done until I get back from vacation. Um, I'll go to the next signboard right now. Okay, I'm here at Kitakami Hall, and I see a guy walking with a girder over there. Oh, he, he's gone. Oh, no, he's over there. Where did he go? Oh, yeah, down there. Um... But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's right over here. That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? So, sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I, I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel, cudgel would change. I think I seen well we've definitely seen one mask yeah when wearing the teal mask it could bring life back into withered greenery around it when crimson mask it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno blue mask it could stop the very flow of a river and when wearing ashen gray mask it could easily break the hardest stone in two before the loyal three fell, they wrested away three of the ogre's masks, gently weakening it. So it only has the teal mask. Did you read it? Mm -hmm. The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sis sorta ends up doing everything for me. I wanna try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become someone people can rely on, then maybe just me. Oh, I didn't even read it. Oh, I'm right, picture. We're supposed to take a picture. All right. Phew, I knew it was the right call to let you handle it. Now on to the next signboard. Oni Mountain. I don't see it. All right. Okay, guys, we'll go see the ogre in the next video. Um, bye, guys.